lives, Father God, of every household and enemy of family, oh Lord. And we commit everything to you, oh God, today. We lift you up and we honor you upon this place. Even Father God, sa tagsa-tagsa, ka mga panimalay nga nagalantaw sa sininga live streaming, sa sininga adlaw. I pray, Father, that you're going to bless them. Wherever they are, even Father God, diin man sila nga lugar, nga duog, nga country, Father God, we pray for blessing upon them. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, shall we give the Lord a mighty clap of praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. All right. Praise the name of Jesus. Abi palakpakanta na yung ginu sa pinakamatunog ng pagpalakpak and shout hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Dalayaw ng ginu ng arit adres sa sininga doog sa sininga tinion. Well, daw wai nagpakigupod ang aton ng ng PowerPoint, but we believe that. It's more than enough. Happy Father's Day sa tanan-tanan ng mga tatay ng ari dere sa sininga lugar. Do you believe that something good is going to happen in our lives today? Do you believe that today God will do miracle in every household of faith in every father of the household? Amen. Kagwalay butang kagbagay nga sa diin makaupang sa aton sa pagpangalagad sa Gino as long as we believe that God is doing things for His glory and for His purpose. Amen. Hallelujah. Now today, utod sa Gino, supposed to be, we have this um, a PowerPoint about the Father. Kung imulang tahon utod sa Gino, Father's Day is being celebrated in, in the third Sunday of June. Okay? But sang nagligat ni Sunday, si Pastor Urbinias nag-announce that sa sinina nga Sunday. Okay? But whether kung anuman nga Domingo, when it never falters on the reality that every day is a Father's Day. Amen. Every day is a Father's Day and we need to honor and to bless the house or the man of God sa HDMI. Okay. Now, again. Tadi langit ha. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. There you go. Hallelujah. Okay. Now, uto sa gino, ang Father's Day has been celebrated every third. Don't you know that the author of this Father's Day is not a father? But no other than Her name is Sonora Smart Dodd. Okay? Her name is... Arana. Okay, Ronora, uh, Sonora Smart Dodd. And Utod Siginoo, who credited as the founder and the official founder of American national holiday, which is known to be the Father's Day. Okay? Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. Okay, and it was celebrated in July 5, 1908 in the West Virginia to honor the father who killed in Mononga mine disaster. Actually, ang, ori ang 
original gisining nga okasyon was ang pag-honor sa mga may isa ka, tra ka tra uh, tragedy nga natabo dito sa sa Munonga isa ka lugar nga sa diin ang mga mga mine kag most of that ng mga nagkalamatay mga tatay and gin honor ini siya in July 5 1908 ni Sonora Smart Dodd Now, if we are going to do and to take a look at this time, here we are once again standing and celebrating another Father's Day. And we do not honor them simply because we honor the mothers last Sundays. Hindi bala? Last mga two Sundays ago, we celebrated the Mother's Day. Right? And wala tagin honor ang Father's Day, bangod kay may Mother's Day man sa nagligad. And we do not honor them today because one of the senators of the United States, Calvin College, passed a resolution to celebrate a National Father's Day celebration. But instead, ladies and gentlemen, we honor them today because we had a key role. Fathers has a key role in our lives. The 1987 Constitution of the Philippines states that the family is the basic unit of the society. Nagapati kita ng ang panimalay utod sa gino amu ang ang basic ang pinagit kaginalinan ko whatever society that we have today it is because of the family and one of the great role of the father in that community is that he is the man of the house. Siya ang tao, sang panimalay, ang haligi, sang panimalay mga kuturan. And well, today, though medyo doga, doga ka ilang pakugani because I'm still just an eight-year-old father to my son and to my family. Hindi pa gitman kayo gitgulang, walo pa lang man katuig. Okay, and I have learned much from the books that I have read. Gakatunan mo si Dobson would always admonish on how to handle some uncontrollable child. But most of the time, it's more than, than the book that I read every day. But it is on the experience as a father that would guide me and guided us in order for me to become a father to my children. Okay? Now, Father's Day, Magambaka Father's Day is a celebration in honoring the fathers. And the celebrating the fatherhood, ang pagkaamay, a paternal bonds, and the influence of fathers in the society sa atun ng susudad. It is currently celebrated sa United States in the third Sunday annually of June. But kita yah advance, okay? And mga kauturan gin lanto natin the five best gifts for Father's Day in 2021 from the CNN Philippines. It was published May 10, 2021, 10.30.33 seconds in the morning. Okay? I could still remember Dad Ben Barredo would always emphasize this. Siya yung ginapalaminate niya ng mga newspaper kagkun magwalis sa ginablandra niya, Attorney Barredo. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Okay? And we do need to have facts. Siling sang CNN Philippines, may lima ka best gift that you can offer to your father. Hey, hey, hey! Ang mga asawa, mga, na, mga bata, pamati. I don't know kung makauyon ka mo sini. <laughs> Number one, oh my, plantito starter pack. <laughs> Mananom sang uh, mga tanom plantito. Okay, another one is that, the second one is, a moment please. Hallelujah. There you are, praise the name of Jesus. Okay, plantito, kagplantita. Ikaduwa dali, utod sa ginuwas ang dambil. Alright. 
There you go. Ikatatlo is the new underwear that's coming from the CNN Philippines. Ikaapat, well, this is the world's perspective, the best dad in the universe, beer trophy. This is what the world would take a look at on the survey. And the fifth one is the beer frame. All right. These are the five best gifts that you can offer according to CNN Philippines. But ladies and gentlemen, how would we look at the Father in the biblical perspective matters most to us because we are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. Number one is that we need to have a longing relationship with your heavenly Father. In order for us to become the best father or good father, if not the best father, is that mga tatay, nga ari diri sa sininga doog, is that we need to have this longing relationship with your heavenly father. Siling pa ni Pastor uh, Russell Kagina, ang kalipay sa kalibutan, ang tao gapangita sa kalipay sa kalibutan, but they cannot find it. Until and unless otherwise, they have their this relationship with the Father. Now, sinang sang Psalms utod sa Gino, chapter, okay, the biblical perspective of a father. In Psalm chapter 63 verse 1, it is the Psalm of David when he was in the desert of Judah. Sang si David nagpalagyo sa kay Absalom nga iyang anak. He wrote this passage from the scripture, O oh God, you, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Now, this is from the New International Version of the Holy Scripture. The Living Bible put it this way. Oh God, my God, how I search for you. Mga amay nga, redire subong sa sininaga. Do we have this heart that early in the morning we are seeking and searching our God? That we are so thirsty that even Psalm says, As the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs for you. There is a groaning in our lives, in our soul, that it is only God who can satisfy it, mga kauturan. May ara bala kita sang sininga kauhaw. May ari bala kita sang sininga pagpangita, mga kauturan, sa aton nga pagpangabuhi. That earnest or early in the morning, how I thirst for you. Nagakauhaw, gida ko sa imo. Hindi ta na ni pwede kay istubyahan pa kung anong balatsyagon siyang nagakauhaw. Mga kauturan, because tanan-tanan kita nakaagi kauhaw literally sa tubig. Doon kadali ka na gid ng mangita sa tubig. Doon mapatay ka na gid. Ang term is doon mapatay ka na gid. Because you're thirsty. The same is true with our spiritual lives. Father, sometimes we are preoccupied with work, 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 work and work. Right? That we oftentimes neglect our relationship with our Heavenly Father. The first perspective of being a father is that we need to have this longing. You know what? Last Sunday when we organized once again, not, not organized, but when we had a fellowship once again with the Father, I was amazed. Even yesterday we had our practice with the choir. I've been in the young people ministry for a quiet long time. In fact, I've spent... Well, most of my life spending with the youth ministry when I get involved in the church. But, kagap, sa nagligan niya, sandi lain gin. Sino ko ay Pastor Rasil, doon ginaisulto ko ni Pastor Rasil. Nga doon ko, bata pa sa ako niya, nga nga i-intry ako sa mga tatay diya. Pero nakita ko, ang tatay, agali, Pastor Binyas, pagkambal, yes, yes da yun. Pag kumit, kumit da yun. Mga babae, sorry lang ka mo, dali lang gin bala. Basi bala gusto nito, niyo ko pagpanaog, dali bala sa pulpito bala. Relax! Relax. Amen? But as Father, we need to have this constant searching for the presence of God. Amen? Sometimes we need to portray ourselves, mga kauturan, in a person that we need 
to take good care of the physical aspects of the lives of our family. But above all, we need to have this longing as a spiritual father. You know what? We, we will be burned up. Out. But burn out din kita yung mga, mga amay if we do it on ourselves. You know what? I have to admit this. There was never a part of my life that I've struggled much than this year personally in my life as a father. Na bala makita mo ang gabandol na nagabinundok na kinanglanon mo imit because may balayran ka, balayran sa balay, balayran sa salakyan, sa tanan, tanan, balayran sa kuryente, sa tubig, tanan. And you need to stretch out everything in order to provide the basic needs of your family. In fact, utod sa gino, I even sleep. Mag-chat kami ni Pastor Russell, kag sa ibang mga pastors, kung hindi ko ka-chat, nag-screenshot na lang ko, kag nasend sa ila that I am having that hell of five, one talk. Tag 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, sang gabi, kay ka tudlo pa sa online class para lang masustiniran. But ang pinakamasubo, when we had this encounter yesterday with Tito Eugene, when he reminded me of the fact that we are almost busy for our physical aspects of our family, but we forgot that we need to have this longing and groaning relationship with the Father of God, with our Heavenly Father. Amen? And how I long to find you. I don't know, I might be sound OA. I don't know if you could relate on this, husband. But ang pinako ka naiv nga nabatsyagan is that when I will, and when, when I will go with my wife at the mall, kakun kay isa ato na nato sa sapiyak, ina ba lang matsyagan ko bala to crabi git bala sili ko ga ay dunog ako na insindihan mo ni nabatsagan ko sa imo na balang ato lang to sa sapiyak nga department store do ang longing ko as a husband to to her grabe i don't know it might sound oa pero amo nang nabatsagan ko nga pagka makita mo na sa ato ubis kan damo nga tawo do kanami git sa iaksyon that is that longing that we need to have as we worship and as we continue serving our god Sometimes we are very busy doing for his kingdom, but we almost forgot the king. Every Sunday we are always emphasized here in this church that Christ is the king of this church. That Christ is the king of our family. But how many hours did we devote ourselves in searching for the presence of God every day? Kaya ti straight to the point naman ni, hindi balagin mga amay, pila ayhan, kaminuto, kag-uras, ukon kung kaysa nagalukso na lang ta. We need to have this longing. Another one is that, we need to have a learning relationship with your fatherly, or with your earthly father. I don't know if it's proper forum for me to tell you that, unluckily, in the world's perspective, I was born in this, what we called as, that I could not feel the love of my earthly father. That every day of my life, personally, I've always been tortured emotionally by my father. The way he would deal with my mom, the way he would deal with us. And ang unang pinakabagay niya na initan ko kag hindi ko gusto nga ihimuon sa akon kung may panimalay na ko until and un, until such time that i recognize that ang pinamo ka na initan nga pamatasan sang imo nga amay if you cannot let go of that and if you cannot could not forgive your father the same nga characteristic ang imo man ikahimo sa imo nga mga kabataan but regardless, our fathers are not perfect. There is no such perfect father here. I don't know if how many of you who are here have experienced the same mantra. Basi nakasnasing alan ka sang imong amay. Basi ginsakit ka sang imong amay. Basi nakahambal sa malain ang imong amay sa imo. And hindi mo git malit go ina ng mga mga tinaga ina ng mga ginhimo niya sa imo. But it will only just like be a bones in your closet. 
But unless otherwise that you need to learn how to forgive and how to love and learning your relationship with your father. My father is nakalive kita bi mo. Kamu yan akigan lang goro. Ako yan natayaan. Te. Kasakit every day of your life. Do hindi ka kapatay nga mahimu na niya sa imo. But you know what? When I learn to let go of that hate sa akong nga amay, and that's the time that I felt how I was blessed by God that I have Him as my Father in my life. See? I thank God that He is my Father. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8 to 9, the King James Version would say, My son, hear the instruction of thy father. Mga kabataan nga rin dari subong. Pamatii ang ginalaygay sang imo nga amay. And forsake not the law of thy mother. We are living in this generation. Every day I am dealing with a thousand of students. Honestly, every Saturday, the whole gymnasium of si Pastor Ronnie nakakadto na to one time. The whole gymnasium of, of uh, Kamsi are being filled with the lives of the students. The students were generation that cannot be controlled. Mga bagay, mga young people na hindi mambalan. Nagapangaki ko nila gayan. Ang pinaka problema si I am going to deal with this with you straightly, and especially with you young people who are here, who are professing to be Christians, that sometimes mapuslan kita sa simbahan, pero hindi kita mapuslan sa atun mga panimalay. Ang iloy sina sang una, sang na born again ko, grabe git ang hara-hara na akun. Grabe git ang paggamit ko sa simbahan ting simbahan kaysa tupad balay lang namon may yung aga mga bata sa sini nga aga magistoryahan ay kita na anong siling sang magulang ko hey, maayo ka lang sa simbahan hindi ka di mapuslan sa balay see paano nagkadto sa mga kabataan because it's holistic ang atong pagistoryahan subong and I don't believe that all of you will agree on this but it's the reality that we need to touch right now as people of God because there is no such educated people in this world except Christians. Are you still there? For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and a chains about thy neck. Mga ginikanan, we need to have this role to our children. Don't just believe on what other and what, you know what, ang ginatudlo siyang kalibutan. When I was still at the DepEd, we have this DepEd order number 40. Child protection policy. And right now, the same DepEd order number 40 series of 2012 is being implemented in the whole Department of Education. To the point that sometimes you just cannot say something that your children would, you know, would be hurt because you might be summoned sa DSWD. But siling sang pulong sang ginup, pamati ang ginahambal, sang imo nga amay, kag sang imo nga iloy. Another one, when I was a boy, siling ni Mark Twain, my father is so ignorant. <laughs> when I was a boy of 14, sang 14 years old pa lang si Mark Twain, my father is so ignorant. Pananawa niya sa iya, may daw ignorante. And I could hardly stand to have that old man around. But when I got to be with 21, I was astonished at how much the old man had learned seven years. There is a way seems good to us, but at the end is destruction. Proverbs would always have reminded us of, of that. Para sa mga young people, para sa mga pamatanon, may mga dalanon nga ginausoy nila, ngabi nila, insakto, 
kag kung pabayaan mo na, they would think that that is right and that is correct. But at the end of that, until they realized that someday, they realized that they were wrong. I don't know if you're familiar with the song, Nung isilang ka sa mundong ito with Freddy Aguilar, at nang ikay malaki, at nang malaki ka na, nais mong maging malaya, di man sila payag, walang magagawa. But don't you know that as Christian, the key still is in us, being a parent, above all being a father. We may never be a perfect father, as what I have said. Number three is that we need to have a long, have a loving relationship with your spouse. Muna yung pinaka-importante sa ato ng mga amay. What kind of husband we are to our wives? Wives, what kind of wife you are to your husband? Malas, maanot lang may kuno mo. <laughs> ano ka nga klase? But ang pinaka-problema is that most typically, as a Filipino family, we would always have be this predominantly be a father figure that inside the house, ako ang masusunod. Do you regard your wife as your commodity? Ginasing alan mo lang. Ginasing gitan mo lang. As, you know what? There is no such loving kagmanami nga panimalay when this Colossians chapter 3 verse 19 will say, Husbands, love your wives and never treat them harshly. Hindi man pagsigising giting imo asawa? Hindi man pagsigising alida ang imo kabatan? Well, I am speaking to myself as well at the same time. In our place right now, it's got brown out. And kagabi, alas 10 na ko na alas, well, in fact, aga na nagtulog. Of course, upod sin eh. Pero pinakamasubo was, the brown out yung aga. And I was thinking that everything was iron out and uh, the clothes, medyo daw nag... To, inaplaw ka isa, we, we're still learning on this. Right? We're still learning. Parents, we're learning on this. Especially the father. But there is no such nami nga pamagi. If you are young people or and if you are young people and that you are here today, and if you are single and you are here today, I think it's also be a preparatory on your part. A preparation, preparahan mo as father and as family. Another one is that number four, have a leading relationship with your kids. we need to be a role model to our children. Most likely, if not 100%, because we are a product of two. Eh? Number one is, uh, number three, three rather. Number one is that we are a product of our hereditary and with, I'm sorry, and with our environment. But most of the time, if the house, the atmosphere inside the house is good, there is no way that children would look for a comfort. Well, in fact, it is but normal thing for a children sometimes to have this peer pressure. There was one time, Otojagino, this is a real story that happened in the southern part of Negros. May isa kabata, work, nga nata, na bunag sa Christian nga panimalay. And it happened, bangod siya kay Imulun, naglakat dito sa Manila para magubra sa construction. Pero every day in their lives, every 6 o'clock and 7 o'clock in the evening, ang tatay would always gather them in their family altar. Hindi the altar nga may cross ngayon, hindi. But they call it family altar, means, meaning they are gathering themselves to pray and to have their devotional. 6 to 7 o'clock in the evening. When he was there in Manila, he was involved in a syndicate. Kag ang ilayaya nga ginay mo, akyat bahay. Gapang saka-saka sila sa tagsa panimalay kag mga wat. But there was one time utod sa gino, one day, 
nagsaka sila, nag, in, in short, nagpangawat sila. Sa ato na sila dito sa may sulod siyang balay, at Diyos, kaya ang ilang nga nakita in front ya gid is the alarm wall clock. Kagpagsaka niya gid, 5.58, and then, nagkadali tali sila pang pangita, and then it strikes up to 6 o'clock in the evening. And then he was reminded that sa ilang nga balay, they are doing this family altar. And you know what? he realized that he have gone so far in their lives. In that moment, nakamuklat kang nakamarasmasa. Ay, hindi ko nigali, pwede ihimuon. How many of us have lived on this that we need to portray ourselves being a father to our children, being a good, good father? We need to have this relationship with our children. Well, sometimes it's bumpy. Dobson, Dr. Dobson himself would always reiterate that it's hard to handle children nowadays. Even I myself, as a father of two, it's sometimes hard for me to handle my children. But I have to because they are a gift given to me by God. Amen? Mga amay, tatapunta nga itong mga kabataan. Hindi bilang iban nga mga tao. They are gift from God to us. Have you said to your child, Langga thankful gid ko nga ikaw ang akon bata. Langga thankful gid ko that ikaw ginatag sa Diyos amon. No matter what kind of child is that. But we believe that they are gifts from God to us. We need to love them and we need to nurture them in a Christ way. Sa ato nga pagpangalagat. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 1. A father's wise advice. My children, listen when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment. Mga kabataan, nga ari-dari subong, hindi lang ka mo mag-reako na kigan ka mo sa ginikanan nyo, dayon, sa amay nyo, paminsaraan ay, if that is good, that is for your good, for nothing, I believe, that our parents would always aspire for our worst, no matter what. Ang ibang ganit ng mga ginikanan, nagapakapangawat na para lang nga mabuhi nila ang ilang mga kabataan. How much more kita? Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4, in the same way, Fathers, in Amplified Bible, do not provoke your children to anger. Amay, hindi man pagpaakigang imo ng mga kabataan. Siling sa Amplified Bible, do not exasperate magambaka exasperate gin evoke mo gid ang iya nga kainit them to the point of resentment with demands that are trivial or wala man sang karason-rason unreasonable or humiliating sa pagpakahuya or abusive nor by showing favoritism or indifference to any of them they we need to treat them equally. But bring them up tenderly, loving with loving kindness in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. Train up the child the way he should go for when he was old he will not depart from it. That's the basic principles of the Bible. Mga kauturan, as today we are celebrating this, are we celebrating this in this manner? Are we celebrating this being, being this way? Or are we celebrating this in a biblical perspective of being a father? 
I thank God for this privilege of standing here in front of you. Our head pastor said to me, what I am doing there, you can do it. Because you are part of this ministry. Thank you so much, Pastor Binyas, for entrusting this. I believe I've known Pastor Binyas as a pastor that would not just, I'm sorry, Pastor, is not just allowing somebody to stand in this pulpit. I know it. And kabay pa, that we've learned something from this as we celebrate, Father. Father, I take off my hat with you. Bilang mga amay. Tako gidang akong saludo sa inyo. Mga katigulangan nga hari dari subong. Sila ni Tata Yunuat, ining dua, nakasa likod ni Pastor Binias. I am not quite familiar with them. But you are my inspiration every Sunday. Te, sila yaga sa laot. Kita yakong kisaga mo lang na o. Hindi niya sila yung may mga edad na ba't kung magtumbo, perti pa magtumbo kag magsao, they are dancing before the Lord. How much more in us. Amen? Hallelujah. Pakibihan na yung gino. Praise the name of Jesus. And nabi, kuy, tabi yan na yung mga darling, nabi. Nabi, atubang nga biyan na. May mga asawa, dahil nga, dahil stupad ang iyang mga bana. Pasalamati man siya, nabi. Tal, hindi pala mawiya-uya. Kita-kita lang, gede. Amen? Ina-iya. Abi, asawa, abi, kisi, manabingi mo nga sa nga banada. Alam pala man, abi, plangga ta kaya. Amen? Hallelujah. And we need to take this role as a Christian because it's important for us to be educated and to be and we believe that we are part in the basic part of the society and we need to portray of being a good father and parents to our children. Hallelujah. We at Lift Jesus Higher, we believe the role of a father and even in our church. Amen. Let it be that above all that we express our love to our husbands and to our children. We need also to appreciate the man that is assigned by God over us. Do we have this time to pray for our pastor? Do we really pray for our pastor? Well, later. Okay. If you're available, just stay. Pero wasi magutok na tadi galing kay damo damo ang second service. Well, the first service may never be the second service. Believe me on that. Okay? But above all, we need to pray for one another. I want all the fathers to stand, please, in Jesus' name. In a short, dali lang, dali lang, can father, could the father, could please come, this to nga, and we need to pray for you. Hallelujah. Na iya, pastor ka dahil mo, gidiya galing tatay sa Live Jesus Higher Main. Father, I take off my hat with you. Kabudlay magmangin, kahapos magmangin amay, pero kabudlay magpakaamay. And I believe right now is not for me to pray, but it's for our pastor to pray for us. Hindi ko yung magpray subong yun sa inyo. Si Pastor Binias niya ang mapray sa aton as father. Amen. Palihok din Dr. Nan. Amen. Itaas ninyo palihok inyo mga kamot sa aton mga tatay subong. Espesyal ini nga Domingo para sa ila. Nagapati kita nga ang pangamuyo dako sing mahimo. Labi na gid kun mga isa katulad subong kadamo sa aton. Kapatid ko ang Diyos magabubo sa bago nga anuinting ang ginakinang lanta. Pila ka Domingo, nagawali, nagatudlo kita about anuinting. Bigal sa anuinting, ang muna yung kinang lanta subong. Kaya akong desire sa tanan ng mga tatay nga makaangkod siya ni. Because una nga mabinipisyohan ang ilang mga tagsa kapanimalay. 
Kagdason sina ang aton simbahan. Kagdason ang tanan, ang community. Igas kung wala ang hulag, ang anointing sa Diyos, wala kita may mo, wala pulo sa tanan. So nakita ko ang heart sa mga tatay subong. Gimbutang ina sa gino, inang handom. Gimbutang ina, grabe nga desire. Nagahambal ikaw, Lord. Ang nabilin ko nga kabuhi. Para inisay mo. Himuon ko ang tanahan. Nga kung mahimo, kagsabulig mo, ako to isituit, nga ikaw mataas sa tanan nga paagi. Okay. Kagbilang isa ka matutuod nga amay, nga magatindog sa prinsipyo sa pulong sa ginoo, amoy na ang pinakadako nga mahimo. Siyang tagsa-tagsa sa aton bilang amay. Mahimo talang na, of course, sa nasiling ko na pagi sa anuhintig sa Diyos. Otherwise, hambal lang, hapos hambal. Pero mga katun sa realidad, kinanglan, ma-aplikar na aton. Okay? So mga tatay, tanan na kataas sa inyo, mga kamot. Believe with all your heart that the Holy Spirit is here. God is about to touch you. Tandugon niya ikaw. Hindi pariya sa muna lain ini subong because special ini. Ini nga Domingo in the science and Diyos para sa inyo. Alright. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you. Lord, for the message ginoong naging buyan mo sa mundo nga. I thank you, Lord. Sa iyo mo alagad, ngayon mo ging gamit. Lord, nga may tagipusoon sa pagpaubos sa iyong kagalingon na batyagan namon. And we believe, Heavenly Father, amoy ato ang mga pulong nagkakabagay para sa amon. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, sa pagkorek mo sa amon. Lord, una sa tanan bilang mga amay, nagkapalapit kami kami kapubos sa iyo mo tubangan. Kag Lord, nagkasaling kami, ginoopatawara kami sa ngamon mga kakulangan. Kadang mo, sa ngamon kakulangan, gino, o Diyos bilang mga amay. Lord, kakasa ang mga butang, gino, nga ikaw, nakitaan mo sa amon, tagsa-tagsa, nga nagabalabang, gino, sa ngayong paggamit, kagpagkulag, sa amon kabuhi, kakasa ang tanan ng mga butang, nga hindi amo sa amon kabuhi. Lord, subong ang imogahom, magakunsan sa tagsa-tagsa sa amon, kag Lord, ang imogahom, magabulig sa tagsa-tagsa, Lord. Ipandong mo ang imo mga kamot sa tagsa-tagsa sa ila. Right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, release your anointing. Lord, release your power. Lord God, do not miss, Lord. Hallelujah. Anong kahong ngalin sa imo, balaan Espiritu Santo. Lord, kagining ang mga amay. Halin sa mga tindog sila ginoong na mapagon, mapagon sa prinsipyo sa imo mga puno. Kag Lord, mag-itsugwa sa sinigakalibutan. Kag Lord, ang anointing magahulag sa ila. Ang tanan matandog sa ila kamot. I-bless. I-bless mo, Lord. And Lord, bless their families. Bless their children. I-bless mo, Lord, ang ila ministry. Kung anong mga nang inbutang mo sa tagsa-tagsa sa ila. And Lord, thank you. I give you back all the praise. Ang tanan ng himaya. Ang tanan ng Balik na mo sa imo. Sa pangalan ni Jesus. Among ginokang maluluwas. Ang tanan magasingin. Amen. Amen. Okay.